Hi everybody, this is part three of a little mini-series on the Unix command TR running on Ubuntu. So this time I'd like to talk about um, another thing that you can use the um, tool for and that is to squeeze repeats. So I'll just copy that in there. If you have something like this where you've got a bunch of O's and a bunch of H's, well you can use this TR program. You pipe that output to this TR tool and here you can say minus minus squeeze dash repeats or minus repeats and then O so you're giving O as the argument and that way when you press enter all these O's right there and get because they're repeated they um, end up being only one O so um, that's well that's one thing you can do if you want to get the O and the H you could change that so that we're, this time we're going to use this O and H and not only the O's but also the H's are um, well no longer repeated um, you, there's a different way, there's an easier way of doing this, of course. You can just say A to Z, and you get the same effect. Now this time, no matter what was here, as long as they're lowercase letters, um, they won't be repeated. So if you have a whole bunch of I's right here, then they'll get um, squished down too. So now if you want you can do that also with um, with uppercase letters so if we have now a whole bunch of H's then we can change this and not only the lowercase a to z but we're gonna do the uppercase a to z and there they're all squished down to one letter each you can also do that with numbers so if we put say 0 to 9 and let's just say there was a bunch of uh, well sevens there for example now this time the sevens also got squished down to just one seven um, there's an easier way of doing that and if you want you could just put right here a L N U M for alpha numeric and you get the same effect now um, there's a whole bunch of different uh, versions of this in the man page so you might want to check that out um, one of the really useful things um, that well one of the things that this is useful for is if you want to squeeze repeats of spaces so let's say just show that we've got a whole bunch of spaces so spaces and then so that you see that there's spaces there when I put the in um, when I when I hit enter um, I'll just put a word right there okay here we've got all these spaces right there and then the word move um, this time we'll say squeeze repeats and you can also do it with minus s instead of um, saying all the time um, if you don't like having to write that out every time with the minus minus squeeze minus repeats tr minus s and let's get those spaces out of there so here we've got a little space. We're telling it to squeeze the repeats of the spaces. And there you have it. So there's only one, one little space before the word. And um, we already showed this in, a, in one of the other um, tutorials is that you can, you don't have to do it like that. You can do it like that with just blank. And instead, of that you do all blanks and like I said you might want to check the man page because it's full of lots of goodies 
yeah, so that was squeeze repeats. I'm sure you'll find that to be um, very um, helpful to, well, instead of like having to edit a page and, and um, get all the repeated white space out of there, sometimes you might want to just do that in case you have like a, a text file that's really a mess um, with a bunch of blank spaces in there. Okay, thanks a lot.